You've often heard me say, <clears throat> what you think about God is the most important thought you'll ever have. And God's primary purpose is making us into his own image, but really what is that image? And are we seeing him in the fullness of who he is? The true nature of God is clearly evidenced in the fruit of the Spirit because these are not merely attributes that he has. They are the very character of the relationship between the Father, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Because God is love, he embodies joy. He is the Prince of Peace. And every single fruit of the Spirit is an invitation to encounter God. It's a door that's wide open to transformation. You know, in 40 years of ministry, I've seen a lot of people who were touched by God, but ultimately not changed. Men and women who had powerful encounters with God, but never converted their experiences into transformation in the daily image of Christ. If you're wise on this journey, that's always the first thing you'll sort out when circumstances challenge you. What aspect of the nature of God can I experience in this situation? It's one of my great questions. Another one is, how is a greater revelation of his gentleness, his goodness, and his kindness, whatever he's showing you, how is that going to pull me back from the brink of fear or anxiety or panic? And how will that same revelation turn me around and focus me on becoming more like him? That's the place where we shift from, I've got to do this, to, oh my gosh, I get to do this with God. Because you know he's always going to be involved, right? This situation might have been intended by the enemy for something negative. But I totally get to see and experience something amazing about the nature of God's love, his joy, his peace. And I only get to be overwhelmed by that. Come on, beloved. We are his workmanship created for his good pleasure. So what's God's good pleasure for you right now in your current situation. He's around your life saying, I love your transformation process. I love being with you in everything you encounter. Won't you love it with me the same way that I love it with you? Won't you join me in an adventure to discover who I really, really am? And in the process, discover who you are really, really are in Christ.